Well, tonight, school is supposed to be a safe place where students go to learn and grow. But for one teenager, the school became a nightmare when she says she was stalked and harassed by an ex-boyfriend. And now her family is suing the Plymouth Canton school system, saying they failed to protect their daughter against this teenager. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live outside Canton High School now, where this, this student used to go to school. And Ali, you spoke exclusively with the teenager tonight. That's right, I did. She's known in the lawsuit as Jane Doe, and she says her life is forever changed because of the harassment and stalking that she had to endure. And she says the Plymouth Canton school system did nothing to protect her. It was really rough. It was a really dark place for me. This is a teen known only as Jane Doe in a lawsuit against the Plymouth Canton school system. She wishes to remain anonymous. I am still struggling a lot uh, with normal things like going to school um, and going out in the community, doing things, doing anything really besides leaving my house. The lawsuit states another teen known as John Rowe stalked and harassed Jane Doe after they broke up their three week relationship. The lawsuit claims he would wait for Doe outside her classroom and follow her around campus. At one point he yelled in front of others, I hope you get raped again. While they were dating, she confided in him that she had been sexually abused. Things took a turn for the worst after her home was egged over spring break with an inappropriate word written on the garage in dog feces. The car tires in the driveway flattened. After that incident, Doe says she tried to take her own life. I sat in a hospital room with her for two days and listened to her hallucinate and scream out about why they wouldn't leave her alone, why they felt she was the things that they called her. Jane Doe and her mother tell me they reported John Rowe's behavior numerous times to the school, but that no disciplinary action was taken against him. They did not, from what we can tell, do any sort of formal investigation with a written report with some sort of consequences for this student for over 16 months, if, if, if ever. A spokesperson from the Plymouth Canton school system sent us a statement. It reads the district does not tolerate harassment of any kind. All allegations of harassment are taken seriously, are investigated thoroughly and responded to with appropriate action. We are unable to comment on any specific student matter. Doe says she hopes speaking out will help others in the future. I kind of want, um, you know, my story to be an example to other people that are going through the same thing or similar things um, to speak out, even if people don't hear you the first or second or hundredth time, just to keep doing it um, because eventually someone will listen. Doe left the school system back in September. She's now being homeschooled. According to the lawsuit, she suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder because of the harassment. She does, however, hope to be a senior at this school in the near future so that she can be part of the school band. Reporting live in Canton, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Allie.